Silicon Valley recently announced construction for another social media headquarters that is expected to profit over 200% in the next year. While these sort of companies generally exceed expected profit, there is only so much to anticipate knowing the company will have its headquarters in one of the most volatile and protective areas in America. Woodside reporter Christian Chewy analyzes how growing up in this sort of environment affects your future. We live in a country unique from any other. One of the aspects that brings the United States their varied reputation is because of the noticeable wealth gap in different states. My family's from uh, County Clare, Ireland. My great-grandfather, Patrick Tuohy, left Ireland uh, during the potato famine and arrived in the United States in 1864. That is my dad, Carl. His side of the family primarily arrived to America from Ireland, with some coming from Italy. While his family was initially part of the farming industry, they soon became attracted to investing ventures and desired to be part of a larger company. Well, my great-grandfather's son, his name was Charles Tuohy, and we call him My Family Pop too. He was the true, let's say, industrialist of the family. He was the one that told his, fa his father he did not want to be a potato farmer and sold the machines to pave a road. He was on a train, and he met a man who said, I own a business called which was a Ford dealership, and he'd like to sell it. While my dad's family was not used to these sort of occupations, they took a gamble on a rare investment. My grandfather, Pop too, was the one who really took the risk and bought, bought that franchise from that man. And, and that business, which is the Ford dealership called Orange Motors, has been in my family for 102 years, which is one of the oldest car dealerships in the United States. My uncle had a tremendous influence on my, my occupation. I'm in the real estate business, specifically self-storage, and that is a result, direct result of my uh, uncle, whose name is also Carl Tui. Reflecting on the 17 years I've been alive for, I'm observant that I live in a high social class, similar to my dad in his childhood. My mom never worked um, a job a day in her life, and after my dad even passed away, we were a member of two country clubs. My friend, Max Addis, lives in a higher social class in an area similar to me. He agrees that parents' jobs have influence on our future interests. They influence me to like maybe try out what they do for a living. My mom is an environmental lawyer, and my dad is a mechanical engineer who works on medical devices. Being in a higher social class and living in the technology hub of America opens me to the influence of greed and the idea of relying on my family for my needs. I use this towards my advantage and take nothing for granted in life. In one of the uh, quotes I live my life by, and this is by Robert Mondavi, and in his book Harvest of Joy, one of the last paragraphs he says, if you love your job, you'll never go to work again for the rest of your life. Me, today, I, I love my job. I love doing what I'm doing. But I understand I have four children with four completely different personalities that are going to want to find their own path in life of what, of what they, they want to do. And the, my one recommendation would be do something you want to do. For Woodside World, I'm Christian Tui.